this video highlights some important new functionality that has been added to the grid component uh, for users who use the uh, checkbox column. So you can see here that we have a simple grid that has a uh, checkbox column and the checkbox was turned on by uh, selecting the has checkbox select column over here and uh, you can see that um, uh, there are, there is, there's one important option over here which is uh, the checkbox type which is single page which means that you can only check records on a single page or multiple page which means that you can check records on more than one page of the grid. So um, let's go take a look now um, at uh, what we can do now with this, um, uh, this new functionality. So the first thing I'd like to point out is that when I go ahead now and um, check a row you can see that several things have have happened here firstly that uh, this row went red and secondly this uh, button became enabled and thirdly uh, some text got written over here so let's take a look now at each of these three things and see how they were accomplished so first let's go and look at how we made this row red which uh, you can see that when it's checked it goes red and when it's unchecked it goes back to its normal state so going back to properties over here let's look at the conditional style client side conditional style and you can see here that we've defined um, a an expression that uses a new system field called grid dot uh, row is checked and if you look here in uh, insert field name you'll see that there are two new system fields now called grid um, row is checked which is either true or false for the current row that tells you whether that particular row has been checked and uh, checked row count which tells you how many rows have have been checked so you can see here that if the row is checked then we're going to set the uh, style to be red and then if the row is not checked then we're going to basically set the color back to black and the uh, font weight back to normal. So the ability to use um, grid.rows is checked in your all of your client-side expressions, that's client-side conditional formatting, show hide expressions, etc. Is, is very powerful. So next uh, when we go back to uh, working preview you'll see that when we check a row this button over here becomes visible. Well that was easily accomplished. You can see there's uh, this button over there and uh, uh, it has a show hide expression that says grid.rows is checked equals true. So whenever that row is checked the button becomes visible otherwise it, uh, it, gets, uh, it, it gets hidden. So now going back to working preview I'm going to start checking rows here. One, two, three and now that I've checked the fourth row another button becomes visible which says that the checked row count is greater than that should actually say four not zero there so let's take a look now at the uh, show hide expression for that button and you can see there's uh, the uh, checked row count is greater than three and so that's how uh, we made that button become visible so next let's take a look at um, uh, the functionality behind this button here. Um, a common uh, requirement is to uh, check a bunch of rows and then after you've checked those rows then execute a filter on the uh, server that selects only the rows that have been checked. So previously you had to write a fair amount of code to actually accomplish this but now when I go here and press this button you can see now I've gone ahead and selected those four rows and if I click this button again with nothing being checked then we go back to all of the rows so we you know in effect we undo the filter so let's take a look now at how this functionality was accomplished so let's go now and look at the um, JavaScript behind that button and we can see now that the grid has a new method called filter checked rows and so that's all that you needed to do in order to uh, filter the checked rows in the grid and of course I know uh, that this function that this method exists by looking at the insert grid method um, button over here so um, I hope that you um, enjoyed this video and uh, 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 you can see here that we've added a lot of important new functionality to the checkbox column. Thanks very much.